thanks for tuning in this afternoon. I'm doing this a little bit earlier. Uh, get me to go somewhere. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. If you have any prayer requests, get a hold of me on Facebook slash Pastor Billy Higdon. Well, let's see if D. It's time we people stand up for what is right. It's time we squirt shorts back and reach the swords of fire. For the Bible was our weapon and the spirit is our shield. For the church needs more rich members to be workers in the field. Step into the water, wait a little bit deeper. Come join angels singing praises to the Lamb of God. To the Lamb of God, to the Lamb of God. Praises to the Lamb of God. There is victory for the Christian who walks a narrow way. There has been a price appointed for us so it does not stray. For I want to live for Jesus, be all that I can be. I want to rest with him forever and live eternally. Step into the water, wait out a little bit deeper. Come join angels singing praises to the Lamb of God. Today is laughter. In Genesis 21 it says, Sarah said, God has brought me to laughter. And everyone who hears about this will laugh with me. And she added, Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would know his children? Yet I have borne him a son in his old age. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. The best kind of laughter comes as we patiently wait on God's promises. If God ever answered all your prayers within five minutes and fulfilled all of his promise within days, we might not laugh quite as well as Sarah laughed. We might just take the gifts for granted and never learn the joy of patiently waiting and complete trust. Holy laughter can come even in the times of anticipation. God doesn't answer all of our prayers or miraculously solve all our dilemmas in an instance. He wants us to learn to have joy of the blindfolded walk with God. Never waver in our assurance that He is guiding us and hasn't forgotten His promises. His promise is not to harm us but to bless us and gives us hope for a future today. Amen. He gives us hope for a future. He gives us hope for better things. What is faith? Like I said earlier, faith is a substance of things hoped for and that evidence things not seen. We can speak things into existence. In the power of our tongue, we have both past people blessings and cursings upon our lives. But let's speak the blessings upon our lives. Let's speak the goodness. <clears throat> Many times <coughs> we need to when we go to God in prayer, we may our circumstances may be the same, but we need to say, I'm healed. Just like when my eye was bobbing one time, there's still it was still just like it was, but I claimed the healing and the next day I woke up, it was gone. That's what we need to do today. We need to claim that healing. We need to receive it and believe it today. Dear friend, hear what Sarah says. Everyone who hears about his will laugh with me. That's what a testimony would do for it in her life. It boosts our, our unbelief. It boosts our faith and helps us to keep trusting. Every time trials, problems, and unbelief come your way, let the joy of the Lord hit you. And help you to get stronger to flex your faith muscles and exercise your faith. Never allow Satan to torment you. Circumstances may look threatening. Future may look bleak. But you say, I have hope in my Jesus who will never fail me. We have hope in the name of Jesus today. We have hope. We have power. We have glory. We have majesty. We have faith beyond measure and there's nothing impossible for God today there's no mountain too high there's no valley too low that we cannot reach and it takes faith to endure it takes faith to stand it takes faith to have hope when we have no hope it takes faith to see the impossible it takes faith to move mountains it takes faith to raise the dead it takes faith to do anything that you go to do in this life. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. 
A man who was terribly wounded and was laying on his back for a long time was trusting Jesus and praying. Every day when he would go to God in prayer, the devil would whisper in his ear, God does not love you anymore because he has not healed you. But this man would loudly say, He died for me on the cross, and there's enough proof that he loves me. When we go through problems and discouragements, we need to look at what the Word says and walk by faith and not by sight. Make good confessions. We need to rejoice, like the song says, break forth into song. Lose those ambitions. Follow that urge to lift your hands and praise God, because God is good. If you want to receive the miraculous things in your life, if you want to achieve life after moments, if you want to receive healing, deliverance, salvation, whatever it may be today, it can be yours if you have faith. Again, what is faith? Faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You may not see it, but you believe it. It may not be right in your mental view, but you believe it. Everything might not be lined up just the way you think it ought to be, but you believe that it will be. That's what faith is today. And once God gives you that faith, you can have that holy laughter. And once he receives on his promises, you can have that holy laughter. Because you you received what you were seeking for so long for. But sometimes it takes perseverance and endurance. And sometimes it takes something that a lot of us like, and me included, is patience. I want things when I want it. I don't want to wait upon things. I don't like waiting on people. But for the Lord, we've got to wait. Sometimes God's answer isn't no. It's just not right now. And he wants to see if we will endure, if we will stand fast, and if we won't waver, and we won't quit today. But be steadfast in his word today. Be steadfast in his will and his obedience. And just stand today. This is the altar call song today. Stand still and watch me move, oh stand still. And watch me move as those doors begin to open, as souls are handed to you. Watch them and keep them, and tell them of my anointed words, and just stand still and watch me move. Oh, just stand still and watch me move. When you're tossed to and fro, when you don't know which way to go, Jesus said, Stand still and watch me move. Oh, stand still and watch me move. Jesus said, stand still and watch me move. I wrote that one of the toughest times of my life. It's one of the shortest songs ever written. But it's a very true song. Because sometimes we get so low that we even forget how to pray. And sometimes we just need to stand still and watch God move. Stand still and watch me move. Oh, stand still. And watch me move as those doors begin to open, as souls are handed to you. Watch them and keep them, and tell them of my anointed words, and just stand still and watch me move. This is the final song today. If you're not prayed yet, I just want you to begin to pray today. I know the master of the wind, I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm and make the sun shine again. I know the master of the wind. Sometimes I soar like an eagle to the skies. Above the peaks my soul can be found. But an unexpected storm may drive me from the heights. Brings me low but never brings me down. I know the master of the wind. I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm and make the sun shine again. I know the master of the wind. My board of life sails on the troubled seas. Ever there's a wind in my sails. But I have a friend who watches over me. When the breeze turns into again. 
I know the master of the wind. I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm and make the sun shine again. I know the master of the wind. Sometimes soar like an eagle to the skies. Above the peaks my soul can be found. But an unexpected storm may drive me from the heights Brings me low but never brings me down I know the master of the wind I know the maker of the rain He can calm the storm and make the sun shine again I know the master of the wind I know the master of the wind I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm and make the sun shine again. I know the master of the wind. May God bless. Till next time.